Hi there. I have an exciting new product to show you today. You can now extend security and awareness outside your home or business with Alarm.com's Flex.io. This was designed from the ground up to work in environments where existing assets and property monitoring solutions don't work. Places where there might not be power, internet access, protection from the elements, or when the asset may move from one location to another. This device sends notifications directly to your phone, tablet, email, or if your phone is connected to your watch, right to your watch. We are offering a special discount as a thank you for watching our video today. I'll give you the coupon code somewhere in the video. Keep watching to see where it's at. Today I'm going to show you what the Alarm.com Flex.io is, show you exactly what comes in the box, tell you what you need to make it work, how to physically install it, where you can use it, and give you a few examples. This will hopefully give you some ideas on how you can use the Flex.io. I'm going to go through the programming and setup, I'm going to show you what it looks like in the app, and of course I'm going to tell you where you can get it. Hint, Alex Accent Alarm sells it on our website. Real quick though, let me tell you about myself. My wife and I own and operate Accent Alarms. It's just the two of us, so we truly appreciate your support. I'm a Navy veteran, USS Abraham Lincoln plank owner. I have 25 years selling, installing automatic gates, camera and access control systems, and wireless networks. Hit the subscribe button to our channel, leave us a comment below, and visit and buy our, from our website. Each of those things truly helps us out and we appreciate the support. What is Alarm.com Flex.io? It can protect just about anything you can dream of, pretty much anywhere there's cellular coverage. It uses the CAT-M Verizon or AT&T networks. CAT-M is, in short, a network that is dedicated to low-power IoT devices. I'll put a link in the details section to check coverage for your area. It's made to be installed outdoors, but you can use it indoors. Two plus years on the battery life on easy to get, easy to replace batteries. What makes it work? The Flex.io has a few magnetic read switches built in and can accommodate loop inputs and a relay output. It'll let you know if doors and windows are opened or closed, perimeter gates are accessed, freestanding items are moved. If the device is tampered with, the Alarm.com Flex.io integrates seamlessly into a, an existing Alarm.com system or it can be a standalone. Here's what you get in the box. You get the installation manual, hang on to that. The 300K end of line resistor, which is optional for when you use your hardwired inputs. You get a magnet, the Flex.io unit, and four Energizer lithium batteries. What do I need to make the Flex.io work? Well, you need a Flex.io, a subscription to Alarm.com, cellular coverage, see the coverage map in the details section, and some basic hand tools. I'm going to show you a few different ways to use it. I'm going to ultimately use this unit in my enclosed trailer to send me an alert anytime someone opens the door. If I'm inside a supply house picking up parts and someone opens my trailer door, I'm going to get a notification sent right to my watch. Let's go ahead and look at a few different ways to use the Alarm.com Flex.io. Sheds and storage. This could mean so many things. A shed in your backyard, at work, a barn or a tool shed door, rent a storage unit. Put the Flex.io on the door to your rental unit and get notified if your unit is open. At a construction site, either a new building or a residential community with the Flex.io on job site trailers, connexes, model homes, homes or buildings under construction. Job boxes. Anything that opens and closes, Flex.io on one side, magnet on the other. As soon as they separate, you get the notification to your phone or tablet or computer, whatever you set it up for. Tools and equipment. If it opens like a job box, you can use the included contact and read switch. 
Using a pull contact, you can use the Flex IO on ladders, table saws, welders, skid steers, tractors, trailers, golf carts, ATVs, boats, aircrafts, anything that can be moved where one thing separates from another. Gates and fences. Have a gate at the end of your property in the front or backyard of your business? What about a temp fence around a construction site? The Flex IO is perfect for this. Anything that opens and closes can be protected with the Flex IO. Can you think of any other applications? Share your thoughts with other viewers in the comment section below. Here's the hidden part of the video. When you enter Flex IO, in the coupon code box while checking out on our website, AccentAlarms.com, you will save 10% on each Flex IO module you purchase. This is for a limited time, so get over to our website and save some cash today. I'll put a link in the details for the Flex IO, or you can use the search bar feature on our website. The Flex IO has an excellent installation guide, and you can download it from our website using the product link in the details sections. I'll hit a few key points, but I won't go through each and every line of the installation guide. Installation is broken down to five steps. First, determine a location. To determine a location, we have to consider the contact. Standard door or window contact, the Flex IO can be installed with the accompanying magnet to detect activity at potential access points. To determine your installation orientation, consider the following. There are three separate read switches available. Only one read switch can be used at a time. You will select the read switch when you add the sensor to your alarm.com account. You will use the tick marks on the side of the Flex IO for guidance. The magnet should not be positioned more than an inch and a quarter from the device. Device, this is a pole connector. This is a GRI 4704A, and this is a three foot armored loop here and you would wire that in to this side and then on your device you're trying to protect you would first mount the magnet and then you would mount this plastic housing over the top of it so let's say you're trying to protect a skid steer or a welder you would mount this piece on one of those devices say your welder mount that then mount this over the top of it with the opening and that keeps someone from stealing this and then you would screw this down over the top of it and then in the evenings when you're not using it you would slide this into here and then if someone tries to take it it would pull out and you can see that really opens up the possibilities of what you could do with this. You know, that could be your garden tractor or a golf cart. Um, again, just limitless. Second, mounting options. You can mount using screws or using zip ties. If you're using screws, there's two holes provided that go right through the center on the top and bottom, and there's a rubber gasket on the back side. If you use zip ties, be sure you use UV rated zip ties if it's going outside. Wiring. DC power. You can either power the device from batteries that are expected to give you two years of use, or you can hardwire power supply. 6 to 15 volts DC, 1 amp. Even when it's hardwired to power, the batteries will provide backup power. You have an input for dry contact loop terminals, and you have an output for a dry relay output. I would suggest an isolation relay if, in most cases. And lastly, you'll want to check your signal strength before you permanently install it in a location. Adding the Alarm.com Flex IO to your Alarm.com account. To do this, it has to be done through an authorized dealer. If you get it through us, Accent Alarms, we will do that for free. If you already have an Alarm.com account with another dealer, you'll have to ask those dealers if they will charge you to add it. Insert batteries. The Alarm.com Flex IO comes with four AA Energizer Lithium batteries. I suspect the brand may vary over time, but the point is that 
It does come with batteries and two, you can get these from a grocery store. Uh, we all know where to get batteries from. After you install the batteries, ensure that the door is secure and the rubber gasket is laying flat. This protects it from the elements. If the red LED flashes once every two seconds, the battery screw is not fully tightened, but be careful not to over tighten it and strip it out. To test the communications, you simply activate the sensor. Either pull the sensor out if you're using the pull sensor, or just move the contact away, opening your door, opening your toolbox, whatever it is you're protecting, activate the sensor and you should see two blinks of the orange LED and you should get your alert on your phone or in the app you should see that the device is open. The Alarm.com Flex.io can only be added to your Alarm.com account through an authorized dealer. Hopefully this will change. Some of the setup features can only be managed via the dealer portal. These include which read switch on the Flex I.O. is enabled, if the wired sensor input is used. Note, you can only use either the built-in read switches, and those only one at a time, or the hardwired input wiring loop. Let's set up some notifications. Your home screen will look different depending on your subscription. You're going to click Notifications, New Notification. Then we're going to scroll down to Sensor Activity. And we're going to give this a name. This is the name of the notification, something that makes sense. Then we're going to go down and click the Accent Trailer Door or whatever you've named your Flex I.O. You can select a time frame that you want this notification to happen at all times. You can also set it up that notifications don't repeat within a certain amount of time. And you can also set it up so if you're inside a geofence, which is a location, you know, if my cell phone is within the geofence of my home, then don't send me this notification. So now we got to add recipients. So we're going to pick my iPhone. And so now when that accent trailer door opens, it's going to send a notification to my iPhone. This is set up on the client portal and multiple notification roles could be used to send different notifications during different times to different people. I'm recording my iPhone screen and I'm going to start the timer as soon as I open the door. This was at a different site from where I normally park my trailer so it picks up the signal pretty quickly. So you can see we're open my door and at right about seven and a half seconds I'm going to get notification. And when I look at the app you can see that it now is going to say that the door is open. Pretty impressive. That was a lot of information to share in about 15 minutes. I'll let you know that when Alarm.com did their webinar, it was an hour. In my opinion, it had less content. There's so many uses, it's so flexible. Thus the name Flex.io. No power required, no internet, no protection from the elements, and it's mobile. My trailer is a great example. Thanks again for watching. Let me know your thoughts and let me know where you might be able to use the Alarm.com Flex I.O. Go ahead, put it down there in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Have a great day. Keep your head on a swivel and be safe out there.